Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today, joined with Eric, we're out here at a spot I've been wanting to come to for a while. It's the well-known pigeon blood agate close to Green River. So this stuff is everywhere. Just look at that, littering the ground. So you're just trying to find the really good pieces where you get some of the nice red inside of the white or colorless. And there's some really clear pieces out here, relatively. Yeah. I think this is going to be great. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> yeah, if you guys if you guys like agates or chalcedony, yeah. Come on out here. Oh. And of course, GPS coordinates of how to get here. Okay, let's get at it. So here's kind of a nice example of how you can get the the nice red inside of it. So they're kind of like little red dendrites that form inside. So look for maybe really nice ones of those. Some decent looking red. There's also some green you can get in here. And if you can get the green and the red, I've heard that's really nice as well. So Eric found what looks to be a, a limb cast replaced with some red jasper. He did say there was petrified wood around here. So that's kind of the prize Eric's looking for right now. Just pull this out. This is some darker stuff. Oh, I think this is going to be nice. I'm going to wash this one off. Okay, I got it washed off. Look at that. Look at all that red in there. All kinds of stuff going on in that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'll take that one. Here's this one washed off. I decided not to cut it open because there were too many fractures in it. So I'll have to try and do something else with it later. So many cool patterns on the outside. Neat stuff. So let's just take a moment to enjoy just the sheer amount and variety of this agate here. So much of it is just mostly a clear chalcedony, a lot of white, but then what you're looking for is that really nice red coming in on some of these pieces just Sometimes it's just stunning. <laughs> Look at that. Here, let me put the other lens on. Look at that. That is neat. <laughs> that is so cool. Right now I'm just trying to grab a variety of pieces that, you know, show different things. This looks like it has some nice red in it. One looks like it's, <laughs> yeah, so you got a little bit of that in there. And then some of these that are just splotched with the red. Here's this all washed off. So many red dots in that one. That one looks like it might be really nice inside. I think any that look like they'll have a really good inside, those are the ones I'll probably take. Another good looking one here. All right, there's another one with some red in it. Not much, it's mostly clear, but look at that red. <laughs> that one looks nice. Got some red swirls in there. Cool. Here's this one washed off. That one's pretty cool looking. <laughs> it's like speckled. The red spot in the middle, that one's kind of cool. Just that one's dark. Huh. Got some dark ones out here. Some of these pieces get pretty big. They are pretty fractured a lot too, though. So yeah. Another neat looking one. Look at that. I like that one. Here's this one washed off. It's just so cool. They really are just everywhere here. Look at that. So much to choose from. <laughs> so many options. Just, it's all over. All over. Agates for days. Just on and on. This entire hill. Just full of this stuff. Another pretty nice looking piece. And this really dark one, 
which looked kind of interesting from this side. Looks like something we should cut. Cut this one open. This side is shattered, but this one didn't. And look at that. That's really nice. This also looks like one we should cut. Look at the inside there. Cool. Oh, there's a little piece of petrified wood. Not very pretty wood, but it is wood. So I've heard there's some good agatized wood you can find out here, so maybe we'll come across some of that. Oh, here's another one that looks like it might be interesting inside. We'll take that. And oh, I just saw that. Look at that. <laughs> it's got some cool red in it. Nice. That one looks like it'll be pretty nice. Nice red in there. I'll get that home and cleaned off. That one looks good too. So Eric found this piece that's got a little bit of green in it. So he says there's really nice ones that have more green. Like that, but bigger. Look at that one. That one's nice. Sweet. Here's this one washed off. Look at that. That one looks neat. And we just got more stuff that just looks really cool just laying around here's this one washed off this looks like a big chunk let's try getting it out and see if it's anything cool find the edge of it though That's pretty big. There it comes. <laughs> These things can be chunky. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good inside. Do I take it home or do I bust it open here just to see? Ah, uh, let's go ahead and just bust it open and see. Yeah, not very good. Glad I broke it here. Well, that one looks nice. Yeah, let's grab that one. Yeah, I think that one's going to be really nice. Take that one home. Nice. Here's this one washed off. Still has a bit of a green lichen on it. Didn't quite get off. So many red circles. Hold that one out. It's got a nice side there. I don't know if there's more on it, but promising. I kept this one open, but it shattered. A lot of these are so fractured, just it's going to shatter probably. <laughs> but it's got some nice stuff inside. That one looks nice. Sweet. Here's this one washed off. Nice looking piece. This has got some nice red on this edge, but then it goes white. So my theory here is most of the red is probably on the very edge of the nodules forming in the ground. And as it goes toward the center, it goes colorless and bleh. So the good quality stuff is on the edges, which is why you probably don't find very big pieces of the good quality stuff. <laughs> Larger piece with a little bit of the red speckled through. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a nice kind of orange. Cool. This is a bigger one that might be worth cutting into. Hmm, maybe I'll take that back. This one looks orangish. Huh, that one's a bit orange, that's cool. Oh, this looks like a nice chunk. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I'll cut under this one. Take that one back. There's another nice piece. Good banding in there. Another good looking piece. This one's got that green around it there. It looks like, like a fibrous mineral or something. That's cool though. Here's this one washed off. All kinds of cool stuff all over it. Also decided not to cut this one because I'm worried about it fracturing. So I'll try and figure out what to do with it later down the road. Here's this one washed off. Look at, look at the patterns right there. So cool. Here's this one washed off. Managed to get that little bit of greenish stuff around one of the red circles. Really interesting. Oh, this one looks nice. I think that'll be really nice. Cleaned off. Here's this one washed off. This looks like another good piece. Circles sometimes are really interesting. Huh. Here's this one cut open. So because of the way it was, there was just a small side here, but this side was nice. Look at that. Really nice. That one looks nice, doesn't it? Cool. Now that looks promising. That was the only thing sticking up above the surface. I'm going to actually quickly try and wash that off. I would say that's the biggest nice piece I've found so far. Oh, it's probably got a lot of good stuff in it. Oh yeah. That one looks promising. Here's this one washed off. I really like the edges of it. And this is to be cut down the road. It's too big for my current saw. So this will be in a cutting video at some point. And another good looking one. Here's this one washed off. This stuff is amazing. And another good looking one. And another good looking one. <laughs> All chips. Here's this one washed off. A lot of little red dots in that one. Two more good looking ones. Nice. Here's this one cut open. It's shattered. So here's this piece. And then here's this piece. Really nice. Once again, it's kind of dirty, but I think this will be a pretty good one. Here's this one washed off. I really like this one. Look at all the red plumes and things going on in there. It's just so cool. So much happening. I bet if I just kind of ground down the back side of it, let some more light through, it'd be stunning. I have found the number six. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now that's different. That's an orange color. Not the reds we've been normally seeing. It's some black. That's fascinating. Eric just found a really neat one. Look at that. Cool. So I think I got enough of that beautiful agate that's up there. The white and red. <laughs> neat stuff. So I've come down here to the wash because last time Eric was out here, he said he came down in this wash and found two pieces of orange, red, and black petrified wood. Really nice stuff. And he said he couldn't find any more. He searched all around. He even walked up and over a little bit, but said he only found those two pieces and has no idea where they came from. So I figure, well, let's give it a shot. Let's search in this wash a bit and see if we can find another piece of that wood. And maybe if we're super lucky, trying to figure out where it came from. 
So you got chunks of the pigeon blood agate just laying around, but do have some other ones that are different color. Probably came from some of these different other hills up here. We'll see if any of it looks any good. Interesting. Actually, that might be a white opal in the middle of that one. Huh. Look at that chunk. You got some big agates out here. Oh, it looks like a little pocket of tiny quartz crystals in there. Okay, right there. Right there. I just pulled this out. It's a piece of petrified wood. Look at that. It's got red and then a black. A little bit of that orange. And there you can see the wood. This must be a piece of what he's looking at. And I'm up from the actual main wash, so it must have come off of this hillside. Found some agate, kind of like a seam of it. It's a lot of black in here. But some red and some cool little zones in it. Neat stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that comes from up there and that stuff. So Eric just pulled this out. So you got this rim of nice red agate and then you got crystals growing into the middle of it. Cool. So here's an example of those crystal pockets that form in these rocks. Cool. We got a nice little crystal pocket here of what looks to be calcite. Yep, that's calcite. So yeah, that'll that'll happen a lot in places like this. Found this nice piece sitting on the side. Got some good red in it. We'll cut into that. Here's this one cut open. I saw that side and was like, ooh, let's take a look. Whoa. That's a lot of black. <laughs> and it's got that white pocket right in the middle. Okay, yeah, I was not expecting that much black. Huh. That mean that one might be nice inside. I think I'll take that back and cut it open. Is that something right there? It is. Oh, look, you can see the banding in that one. Nice. Yeah, I'll take that and cut that. That should be nice. Look at that I just found. Beautiful little stream pebble of what looks to be carnelian. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Really nice. My wife will love that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just stumbled across this. I was like, what the heck? First, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, it's calcite. I picked it up, and I'm like, that ain't calcite. I believe that's a huge chunk of barite. Oh, is that another one right there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Where did that come from? Look at Eric just found. Look at these neat little calcite crystals. Those are actually real. That one right there is beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Eric just picked up that one. Looks like a nice nodule. That'll probably clean up really nice. Yep, some of this sea maggot's just really interesting. A lot of dark, the black, but you get some red and some other stuff going on in there. Well, here we go. Some nice calcites, and look at that. A few little bladed barites. Very interesting. And not far from that one, look at this honker I just found. Look at that. That had some big, beautiful calcites in it at one time, and look at all that bladed barite. That is so cool. Man, I want a fresh pocket of one of these. But how do you know where to break? I don't know. Just have to get lucky, probably. Really nice calcite on that one. Look at that. That's really cool. Here's this pocket of calcite washed off. That is so cool. Beautiful calcite crystal right in the middle. Here's this one washed off. So you got the darker calcite crystals. Then you got these lighter color barite crystals. A lot of the barite crystals I saw there were just white, but these ones ended up being clear. Really cool. Really cool. Here's this little thing cut open. Interesting. A little bit more of a jasper. Cool. Here's this agate washed off. This was so surprising to find. So cool. This was the best side though. Decide not to cut it because it's so fractured, I'm afraid I'll lose it. Here's this one washed off. Nice. 
Here's this one washed off. I really like that band going through it. Really cool. Here's this piece cut open. Oh, oh, it's very clear on the inside. Look at that. <laughs> very nice. I like that one. So I cut this one open. That's what you could see on the outside. So I was thinking it probably looks similar on the inside and pretty close, but it's got some uh, better bands of red up there. Nice. And we're back at the vehicle. What a neat spot. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, no so we gave the GPS to here. Most of what we found is just on this white and some of those other cool things we found along those cliffs. And that's it. So I'd love to come back and really explore this area and back that way and all over this place. So cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.